now let us discuss about uh, three important concepts which are useful uh, in simplifying boolean expressions with the help of carnap map so those three important concepts are implicant prime implicant essential prime implicant first let's see about what is implicant it is the group of ones uh, we know that group means it should be in the powers of 2 so here the group can have uh, a single one or two ones or four ones or eight ones or 16 ones uh, let us take an example here uh, let we have eight ones like this eight ones like this now what we can do we can make these eight cells as one group so this group will become one implicant next we can make these four cells as another group so this group will become second implicant next we can make these four cells as another group so this group will become third implicant next we can make these two cells as one group so this group will become an implicant next we can make these two cells as an another group so this group will become an implicant so likewise this is one implicant one implicant one implicant one implicant one implicant so likewise we can create n number of implicant so implicant means it is the group of ones so group means it should be in the powers of two so one or two, one one or two ones or four ones or eight ones or sixteen ones uh, here implicants are mainly classified into two types first one is prime implicant second one is essential prime implicant first let's see about what is prime implicant the largest possible group of ones in order to cover a, in order to cover a one so we have to use largest possible group of one so that is called as that is called as prime implicant so let's see this example in order to cover this one what is the largest possible group so this group next in order to cover this one we can use this group this is the largest possible group next in order to cover this one this is the largest possible group in order to cover this one this is the largest possible group so here this group let us assume that this is first group let us assume that this is second group let us assume that this is third group let us assume that this is fourth group so here we have four prime implicants four prime implicants let us take this example already the mapping is done uh, so what we can do in order to cover this one we can make this as the group so this is the largest possible group next in order to cover this one we can make yeah let us assume that this is group one in order to cover this one we can make this as the group so this is the largest possible group let us assume that this is the second group next in order to cover this one we can make these four cells as the group so this is the largest possible group let it be third group next in order to cover this one this is the largest possible group so this is the fourth group so if we if we observe this Carnap map so here we have four terms yeah we know how to uh, produce the min term so I, I am not writing that one uh, so here we have four possible groups so these four are nothing but prime implicants if you take this example so in this example also we have four groups so these four are nothing but prime implicants okay uh, now let us see about what is essential prime implicant essential prime implicant is a prime implicant in which at least a single one is not covered by any other prime implicant so what is essential prime implicant it is also a prime implicant only but but at least single one in that group at least single one is not covered by any other prime implicant so if you take this example so we have four prime implicants now let us see so what are the prime implicants so we have four pri prime implicants so one two three four so we know how to write the mean terms uh, 
uh, if we observe here uh, this is this, the first group is essential prime implicant why because this group in this group we have this one this one is not covered by remaining three groups remaining three prime implicants such as second third and fourth so one is essential prime implicant whereas if we observe this one if we observe the fourth group the fourth group contain this ones this one so this one also is not covered by any other prime implicant any other prime implicant such as 1 2 and 3 so fourth one is also essential prime implicant if we observe the third one so third one in third one in third group we have this one so this one is also not covered by any other group or any other prime implicant okay so third one is also third one is also essential prime implicant what about the second one in second one we have two ones but this one is covered by another prime implicant called one this one is covered by two prime implicants such as 3 and 4 so here we have four prime implicants such as 1 2 3 4 uh, whereas we have three essential prime implicants such as 1 3 and 4 so in this example also we have we have four prime implicants now let us identify the essential prime implicants if we observe the group 1 so here we have this one this one is not covered by any other prime implicant this one is not covered by 2 3 4 and prime implicants so we can say that one is essential prime implicant if we observe the if we observe uh, yeah if we observe the second one uh, yeah here we have second one here we have second one so this is the second group if we observe here if we observe here this is not essential prime implicant why because this one is covered by uh, first prime first prime implicant this one is covered by third one this one is covered by fourth one this one is covered by third one so the second one is not essential prime implicant uh, let us focus on third one let us focus on third one this one this one is not covered by any other prime implicant so third one is essential prime implicant if you observe the fourth one this one is also not covered by any other prime implicant so fourth one is also essential prime implicant so so mainly prime implicants and essential prime implicants are very very important we need not worry about implicant why because if you take any carnot map then we can derive too many implicants so our focus will be mainly on prime implicants as well as essential prime implicant if you take this one so this is also a uh, implicant this is also implicant this is also implicant this is also implicant the group may contain single one also so this is also implicant this is also implicant this is also implicant this is also implicant likewise we can write n number of implicants so our major focus will be on prime as well as essential uh, so this is about uh, prime and uh, essential prime implicants in the next video we will see some more examples some more complex examples on prime implicants and uh, essential prime implicants